Welcome to 3 a.m. with Mr. Sprinkles. I'm your host, Mr. Sprinkles. With me is my co-host, Evan Seberger. Well, I took too many Percocets. You took Percocets. That's, you know, uh, that's, a, that's a fun thing to do is take, you just go down a random, you, you can go down to any drugstore, any any pharmacy. You can play what's what I like to call pharmacy roulette, which is where you go down to the pharmacy, you pick up a random bottle, and then you just open it and like chug it all, just all right then in front of the in front of the the pharmacer. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, definitely. And then you just say, "Haha, I took all of this. Try to catch me." And then you run off. It doesn't work if you get like a, you know, like a stool softener or a or a di or a diuretic, because then you just you know then you just shit yourself and you leave a trail. Uh, they can very easily follow. I wouldn't, um, yeah. I took too many Percocets. You took too many Percocets. What, what was, what was it for? What did you take them for? Uh, fun. Here to talk to us about people not having a good time is our good friend, Dr. Ryan Trashfingers McLaughlin. Ryan! Hi folks, uh, it is me, um, doctor, professor, and student of my life, Ryan Ryan, Ryan your your audio sounds your, Ryan, your audio sounds like it's coming out of a robot's vagina. Well, well um, I have happen to be uh, in a very intimate relationship with my, with my computer, so. so uh, that, that might be due to multiple reasons. Yeah, can, can, can we fix this? Please? Do my best. My best. <laughs> um, we got one. Got, got, got my best, best men working, working on it. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to lend my expertise. Ryan, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about what's what's going on. We hear you're, uh, we hear you're on trial. Well, there's a lot of uh, fallacious and felonious and incongruous claims that are being made against me right now. Several uh, reports came in about child negligence charges. Ryan, care to, care to elaborate on these charges? Well, um, I believe you're speaking to uh, what happened to my dear and, uh, well, departed first son, Aaron Hernandez McLaughlin. And um, this is a very sensitive subject to me, um, seeing as he is my son, or was my son, unfortunately, a posthumous sonship, if you will. Tell, tell, uh, tell, us, tell us what happened to him. Well, um, as anyone who, had, who has known him or met him would say, he had quite um, the appetite for alcohol. Uh, he was quite um, the... Uh, lead liver if you will um as a three-year-old he could easily take down about i'd say six shots a night um so you know i was just trying to foster this creativity and this strength with him but apparently in the fucking liberal obama courts of fucking 2019 yeah uh I am a bad parent for letting my child express himself through liquor. I mean, where's the justice in that? Where is the justice in that? I don't know. You wouldn't, let, you wouldn't take a paintbrush out of Picasso's fucking hands. You weren't. Yeah, you wouldn't. You try to take the bottle out of my son's hands? Where the? Where do they get off, huh? Where? 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 Where's the end? Huh? When you think about it, it's it's Hemingway would have never fucking written all those great things without alcohol. I mean, he probably also wouldn't have shot himself. But you know, he the the more important thing at the end of the day is the genius that is brought out by the tortured soul within that bottle. Yeah, and I feel like uh, you know, John Lennon also wouldn't have wouldn't have written Imagine. If it weren't for his his constant drinking, you know. Sometimes I imagine 
What if my son didn't die? Is, are you in need of legal counsel? Because I, <clears throat> I happen to be able to to provide my services in this in this particular area. How many I, how, how many I, times I, do I, I got to? Yeah. You're you're not a lawyer. You did not pass the bar exam. Uh, it took the bar exam. That doesn't mean that you passed it. Uh, it's just as good as passing it in in, in this state. You didn't even answer the half the questions. Because half the questions are half the battle. That's the sound that I like to make sometimes. Me and my prostate doctor, um, because I have several issues with my prostate, have a very similar relationship between the main character of Whiplash and J.K. Simmons. Um, uh, it's very similar, uh, where he tries to push me to have a tighter prostate. He really believes in me, but he really goes through uh, very difficult and very stressful um, rituals and um, uh, techniques to get me into a more tight mindset. Right. You know, one time he threw a chair at me because he thought that my prostate was a little too loose. Um, and, you know, and, and um, in many ways, it's also like the movie Ratatouille, uh, since he can control my body movements through my prostate. And that's, that's the, quite an impressive doctor. That's what they did in the Ratatouille, was that he went up in this prostate and he tugged on it and then he made food. But he always... Well, in, the original story, uh, in the original novel by um, Hans Glemecht, uh, the German story of Ratatouille. Um, Ratatouille was, in fact, um, a five-foot man uh, named um, Reme, um, and he would crawl into the assholes of uh, of naughty children and control them into act, act like good children. Now, this if is... I'm not mistaken, that original novel is called Ratatouille. That yeah, right? Ratatouille. That's, that's, that, that's the American pronunciation. Yeah, uh, it's a Cambodian um, story, actually. Yeah, but the, my uh, perspective, because obviously Germany colonized Cambodia. Well, and my my bro my brother Antonio Sprinkles, he he grew up reading that, and that's what it, that's what motivated him to go off robbing banks and also uh, stealing people's faces. song for me willows in the windows crying to be free I really I question why I associate with you sometimes I am your meal ticket man it's, it's you know it you know that. Yeah, I've got plenty of business ventures. For example, if uh, uh, Ryan, I was going to ask you about this after the show, but but I guess I'll just do it now. Uh, we essentially, how how would you like to work from home and be your own boss? For a mere two hundred dollar buy in. Here he goes again with the fucking porn in this game. On, uh, on on sweet yams. It's it's my new uh, it's my new up and coming business. Uh, it, it's. We call it sweet oh, yams because it tastes sweet like yams when you get that money. Uh, you basically you need to bring in five other people to this business. It's it's a it's it's a, shall we say a, a triangular platform to uh, of expansion in the business world. It's a re revolutionary new idea. I think uh, you know the, that that uh, that guy that you killed, Ryan. Mm. I know that you were acquitted for that, and I know that they you know they decided not guilty. But I mean. Come on, you can tell us. You did it, right? Did you do it? Well, since you've got me on on uh, on the spot here, um, well, just between you and me. Right, right. This is yeah. Yeah, this is just us. Okay. Yeah, no, it's just us. It's all good. Oh, yeah, the girl, no one here. watches the show, so don't worry. It's yeah, not, it's all. It's fun. not legally binding. I'm a lawyer. Well, just have me blushing. He's I don't, not. I don't, but... say, I don't. I don't want to say. I don't know. Tell us. Come on, man. Would you? Would you... Would you, Tell us now. Would you do it for like? Would you do it for a Kit Kat? If I if I give you, if I had one of the PAs get you a Kit Kat, would you would you do it? Oh, uh, well, I mean, 
if you're gonna bribe me, Sonia, get Sonia, get him, if get you're him gonna a bribe me, then I suppose. Okay. Um, no, no, I did not actually. Oh, that's uh, it, it, it was a false. It was a false charge. That's wow. that's anticlimactic. Yeah. I, I I still think you did though. I mean, come on, come on, you know, you you you, you, you know, right, right, Evan, right? Come on, he did. It's actually quite tragic. I, I, do you think drive the... by and. Well, um, I mean, you drove by. That was a friend of mine. You d- he really got me through a lot. Uh, you got my sponsor in AA. And you got through him with bullets. I think we should we should all start a gang. A gang? It's fine. I think we should do that. I think that's a good idea. I, I just feel so afraid on the streets nowadays. I, I feel like if we had our own gang, no one would ever, no one would mess with us. No one would bully the us. The kind of gang that sells drugs or the kind that walks around snapping it with little, like, flip knives and well, goes up to a fence and is like... Well, I don't see why we can't do both, you know? I, yeah, I think I think you could mix the uh, sort of, like, West Side Story with the, uh... Wire. Yeah. Um, visceral kind, yeah. Uh, no, I, I just... I'm so sick of people taking my, uh... my lunch money and giving me wet willies. I, I just want to... You know... I want to form posse, a mafia. Yeah, I want to form yeah. posse. You know, I, my my grand grandfather, he taught me. He said, "Mister, if you if you do anything with your life, start a crime family." I would, you know what? I would also take over Djibouti, and Yo. and I would I would create oh, I, I would create a big a big oh. a big trench, a big trench in the middle of in the middle of Djibouti. And it would be the, the, the Djibouti crack. And it would be right there. And then I'd have a palace hovering above the crack. And I'd also have crack. That that would that would be a thing that I'd have. By the way, um, I'm getting readings that Evan's pulse has dropped below uh, um, normal standards. Uh, Evan, are you all right? Oh, the Percocet. That 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 was a that was a thing. Well, folks, it, it looks like uh, my co-host Evan has OD'd, which means it's time to end the show. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us, and thank you to our guest, Dr. Ryan Trashfingers McLaughlin. We hope that it's a non-guilty uh, on your part, but you know, I don't think that you'll have I don't think that you'll have any trouble at all. I uh, I think I think you're going to be all right. It's going to be fine. You know, it is not the court of man. That bothers me, but rather the court of God, which I seek forgiveness.